Everybody's got a blind spot. The best CEOs, the best companies, everybody's got a blind spot. Everybody's got one. Bill Belichick's the best football coach ever. He's got a blind spot. He cannot draft wide receivers. He is the worst drafter of wide receivers as an NFL Hall of Fame coach ever. His best draft pick ever was Matthew Slater, UCLA. He's a special teams guy. Deion Branch, Julian Edelman. Edelman was a quarterback. He can't do it. They drafted Nikhil Harry first round. I saw him in college. I liked him. Big physical guy. Not a burner, but a big tough kid. Hard worker. Herm Edwards told me off air he liked him a lot. And uh, here's what Greg Cosell said. He didn't have any catches against Denver on Sunday. In eight of his 13 games, he's had two or fewer catches. He can't separate from anybody. He looks like a bust. Here's Greg Cosell. Nikhil Harry, he's, he's, I know you're a Pac-12 guy. He does not move really well, Colin. I mean, he's, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what exactly he can become in this league because there's not a lot of juice to his movement. These are receivers drafted after Nikhil Harry from Arizona State in the draft. They're not just good. They're stars for their team. Debo Samuel. I mean, Debo Samuel is just a monster. A.J. Brown, Tennessee. A McColl Hardman for Kansas City. D.K. Metcalf is a star in the league. Uh, Terry McLaurin for Washington, a third-round pick, has been unbelievable. Un I mean, Dwayne Haskins has a better eye for wide receivers. Dwayne Haskins told Washington, draft Terry McLaurin. I played with him. He's really good. He is. Top 10 receiver in yards. There, there's a lot of theories on stuff. And I don't have, here's all, I have two beliefs on why Belichick is so bad at this. The first one is a hunch. Um, the hunch is Bill doesn't watch a lot of college football. He leans on guys like Nick Saban, Urban Meyer, Herm Edwards, who he knows, to give him a recommendation. He calls Herm Edwards. Herm is hardest worker on our team, really good kid, will work his butt off. That's good enough. That he, Bill's not a guy. Bill is great with NFL personnel. He'll steal NFL guys, Wes Welker from Miami. He'll do that all day. He doesn't watch college football on Saturdays. He's a, he's a Sunday guy. Um, and, and, and so that's, that's my first thing. And the other thing is, it's not just wide receivers. Find me all the steals the last 10 years in the draft for New England. The only unit they really find talent is offensive line. They're great at that. But I don't even credit Belichick. That's Dante Skarnecki, the offensive line coach, who's the best offensive line coach without peer in the game's history. Bill Callahan may be too. He just takes everything and everything. He's like, he's like the Russell Wilson of offensive line coaches. Everything works with Dante Skarnecchia, who's now retired. So my first thing is, Bill doesn't love college football. He loves the NFL, and he's brilliant at finding NFL personnel. In fact, the two best players New England has right now are Cam Newton and Stephon Gilmore. They're both free agents. He played Cam twice, couldn't stop him. He's great at going to Buffalo and getting Gilmore. and going. He's always been good at that. So my first one is a hunch. He just doesn't love college football. He relies on guys and friends to give him a heads up. The second thing is, and this is not a hunch, this is what I've been told by two different personnel people in the NFL that have worked with New England and left, is that Bill in January cuts everybody off. I'll take the draft from here. That's not what Pete Carroll does. And Pete Carroll has 15 guys he's stolen in the draft. That's not what Jimmy Johnson did. That's not what Andy Reid does. That's not what Sean Payton does. They are getting, they are, to the very last day, everybody's in. Bill, January, just, I got it from here. And I think it hurts. I don't think they, I think he is an amazing coach. He's brilliant. He's the best coach of my life. I, I never met him, but I think he's amazing. But they are so bad at drafting one position. There's got to be a reason. I, I never, I don't believe in fate. I'm not overly religious, so I don't believe in fate. I think you create your reality. Your choices create your reality. He chooses wide receivers poorly. So we know he's not dumb. We know he does, we know he knows talent. But I mean, it, it, it's, I mean, it, it's, Nikhil Harry looks like a bust. He can't get open. No catches? <laughs> I mean, I understand the Patriots practice issues, but... No catches? Uh, Joel Klatt is coming up. We have a good, interesting weekend of college football coming up. And also, an insider to the Browns. It's time to start looking for another quarterback. Next. Next.